about two and a half thousand women with epilepsy have a baby each year. So managing epilepsy during pregnancy is a common experience shared by many women. Most women with epilepsy have uncomplicated pregnancies and births. But in this short video, we'll explain how epilepsy can affect your pregnancy, how pregnancy can affect your epilepsy, and what you can expect during pregnancy and labour. It's important to remember that your midwife will support you throughout your pregnancy, but your GP or epilepsy specialist will continue to manage your epilepsy care. How can I prepare for pregnancy? You should keep using birth control until you've discussed pregnancy with your GP or epilepsy specialist. You should start taking high doses of folic acid once you start trying to get pregnant to reduce the risk of having a baby with spinal deformities such as spina bifida. Due to the higher than normal dosage needed, this will need to be prescribed by your GP. Any woman can give birth to a baby with birth defects, but some medications for epilepsy, particularly sodium valparate, can increase this risk. Because of this, it's important that medications are discussed with your specialist before becoming pregnant. But if you do become pregnant, do not stop taking any medications before discussing this with your specialists. How could my epilepsy affect my pregnancy? Most women with epilepsy have uncomplicated births and healthy babies, but it is likely that you will be recommended to give birth in hospital. This is because there is a very small increase in risk of having a seizure, and this will allow the midwives and doctors to monitor you more closely during and after labour. How can pregnancy affect my epilepsy? It's hard to predict how pregnancy can affect epilepsy. Many women see no change, others see an improvement, and some find that they have more frequent seizures. Tiredness, stress and hormonal changes are some of the things that can make seizures more frequent. If you do have increased seizures, you should contact the team looking after you. What should I do differently during pregnancy? If you've had a seizure in the last 12 months, you should avoid risky situations such as bathing alone. You can also register your pregnancy with the UK Epilepsy and Pregnancy Register to help us improve care for women with epilepsy in the future. Just search for UK Epilepsy and Pregnancy Register for more information. What should I expect during my pregnancy? During your pregnancy, you'll be looked after by specialists and are likely to need extra scans and appointments. The risk of a seizure during labour is very low and most women have uncomplicated births. The team looking after you will try to minimise risk factors for seizures, such as pain and tiredness. You will be able to breastfeed and you can continue to take the vast majority of epilepsy medications whilst breastfeeding. It's important to plan how you will safely care for your new baby and you can discuss this with your midwife and specialist team. When should I seek help? If you have increased seizures during pregnancy, it's important to contact your midwife and specialist team. If you have concerns about your pregnancy, you should contact your midwife or maternity hospital. And if you feel unwell, you should call 111. To recap, most women with epilepsy have uncomplicated pregnancies and births. You should keep using birth control until you've discussed pregnancy with your GP or epilepsy specialist. You should start taking high doses of folic acid once you start trying to get pregnant to reduce the risk of having a baby with spina bifida. Some medications for epilepsy can increase the risk of birth defects. Your epilepsy could get worse, stay the same or even improve it is likely that you will be recommended to give birth in hospital. If you are ever worried or have any questions or concerns, contact your midwife. Thank you for watching. This educational video was created by the Southwest Maternal Medicine Network.